everyone, welcome back to IT and Automation Academy with another vital and informative topic for you. This is Ismail Shahid, and today we will explore how to take backups in Honeywell Experian PKS DCS. Now, if you're thinking backups, that should be easy, like in PLCs with a single file backup. Well, think again. Or maybe you've worked with Yokogawa DCS, where a single click backup saves everything, logic, HMI, Modbus signals, and more. Sounds simple, right? But when it comes to Honeywell Experian PKS or Plant Cruise, things aren't that straightforward. In this video, we'll break it down step by step, so make sure you watch till the end to grasp all the key details. Before we start this video, if you want to get professional training in PLC, SCADA, and DCS, do not hesitate to reach out to us. Before we start taking backups, let's understand what the different kinds of backups are. EMDB Backup. It is known as the Enterprise Model Database and is used for enterprise hierarchical structural settings such as assets, material, activities, and people. ERDB Backup. It is known as Engineering Repository Database and used for Experian Runtime Database. Checkpoint and Checkpoint Database for restoring the controller configurations. QDB Backup, for Quick Builder Database. Alarm Groups Backup, for Alarm Groups Backups, as the name suggests. HMI Backups, for Graphics, Displays, and Custom Script Backup. OPC Integrator Backup, for OPC Server Client Configurations. Each of these backups plays a critical role in ensuring your system can be restored quickly and effectively in case of failure. Now, let's dive into the step-by-step -step process for each of these backups. If you want to learn more details about some of these software tools we are going to use for taking backups, you can watch a detailed video on Takwim YouTube channel, link in the description, or simply search Takwim. Before we start taking backup, we need to have some kind of folders where we can save our backups. So I have created some folder beforehand. And if I go to my C folder, you can see that I have created DCS backups. And inside this folder, I have created uh, multiple kind of folders for in which we will save different backups like EMDB, ERDB, checkpoints, QDB, alarm groups, HMI, and OPC integrator. Uh, let us go to take a backup for EMDB and to take the backup for EMDB you have to open configuration studio. Uh, click on system option. On the right side in system task, click configure assets for the system. Expand all the assets and by selecting click button on keyboard, click all these assets, go to file, click export, select your folder where you want to save these assets. Click OK and then click export. Now when you go to that folder, you will find out the backup has been saved. EMDB backup is saved here. To take uh, ERDB backup, we have to go to server, click on control strategy, click on administer the control strategy database, and it will open the database admin, which is called DB admin. Expand all the windows, click on DB admin, click on ERDB admin task, uh, select backup database show it the required folder give it any kind of name we are backup with any date you like click select select ok and it says this and the backup is successfully saved if you go to the folder and check it will have the ERDB backup. Now to take uh, checkpoint backups, you need to go to uh, my computer, local drive C, program data, Honeywell, 
Expedia on PKS and you will find there are two folders over here. You can copy these, these two folders and you can bring it to your folders over here, check upon database, you can paste it here and you have checkpoint databases here all I mean that's it for checkpoint database backup now for the quick builder database uh, sometimes you can call it SCADA database as well so now to start taking backup for quick builder open my computer uh, go to C uh, click on program data and Honeywell here you can find out Experian PKS servers and in server you will find data and here you will have QDB so you need to find out these two uh, files select both of these and click copy and paste it inside your folders that is QDB and that's it apart from the quick builder you need to go to uh, configuration studio and select control strategy click on any of these options on the SCADA control um, on the right side and when you select this option it will open quick builder for you once the quick builder is opened you know, we need to take backup of different options over here like channel controller printers and uh, points so before take we take backup here let us open excel and let me take X, open excel over here so i open excel here let us give some names uh, we will take channel on this tab we will add controllers over here points over here and stations then servers so what you need to do is to select the channel tab go to the channels on the quick builder control a control c and come to the excel sheet paste it here and then go to the controller select all the controller in my case i have only one controller but when you uh, work in the real time environment you will have more controllers so control c over there and control v and then to the points tab uh, select all the points which will be way more than this one control a control c and paste it here and then to the station option and let me select all the station control a control c and click yes we missed one option over there printer so let me add printer as well go to the printers go to the printers while we have not added any printers so we don't need to um, do this exercise here but when you have any kind of printers you can do the same practice so now go to the server select all control c control v and paste over here so now all of these is available with you you can just go ahead and save this file to uh, restore your system and that is how you can uh, take backup from quick builder by, by saving the quick builder file as well as by taking uh, some points manually now to take the alarm group backups you need to go to configuration studio select the system uh, honeywell experience system option go on the right side to the system task uh, select configure alarm groups for this system and it will open the enterprise model builder alarm groups and you can select all those alarms while hitting the control button on the keyboard and clicking on each of these uh, alarm groups now go to export to the file select export show you the folder where you want to save it alarm groups select ok and click export 
and that's it your alarm groups are shared as well now to have the HMI's backups you need to uh, open my computer go to C go to Honeywell uh, program data Honeywell Experian PKS and go to abstract option uh, client and abstract so abstract is a folder which contains all those HMI's and your relevant uh, details related to HMI's so you can take this whole abstract folder copy this one and paste it inside uh, your backup folders like for HMI's and let me paste it here so at this time as the backup is very small one so it doesn't take much time but on once you are uh, you have more HMI's and more data most of these backups will take more time than what you see in this video now lastly we need to take backup for opc integrator for that one we need to go to computer and when we go to computer click on local disk c uh, program data honeywell experian pks and client you will find opc integrator over here and you will see that we have test opc file over here we just need to take uh, this file copy click on this file copy and bring it to the folder pick a folder over here opc integrator and we are almost done with all the backups which are required to restore our system during any disaster or any fault that's all for today if you found this video helpful don't forget to hit the like button for more videos like this Make sure to subscribe and turn on the bell icon so you never miss an update. See you in the next one.